EMT practice tests. Part 3. 41. Poor peripheral circulation will cause the skin to appear. Pink. Ashen. Flushed. Cyanotic. The answer is B. Ashen. 42. Which of the following scenarios does not involve the presence of any symptoms? A 44-year-old male with abdominal pain and severe dizziness. A 49-year-old female with blurred vision and ringing in the ears. A 55-year-old male with a severe headache and two days of nausea. A 61-year-old female who is unconscious with facial cyanosis. The answer is D, a 61-year-old female who is unconscious with facial cyanosis. 43. Which of the following statements regarding Strider is most correct? It is a whistling sound heard in the lower airway. Strider is caused by incorrect airway positioning. It is a high-pitched, crowing upper airway sound. Strider suggests the presence of fluid in the lungs. The answer is C, it is a high-pitched, crowing upper airway sound. 44. A 40-year-old male presents with pain to the right upper quadrant of his abdomen. He is conscious and alert, with stable vital signs. During your assessment, you note that his skin and scara are jaundiced. You should suspect. Acute pancreatitis. Liver dysfunction. Gallbladder disease. Renal insufficiency. The answer is B, liver dysfunction. 45. Which of the following questions is used to determine a patient's chief complaint? What seems to be the matter? When did the chest pain begin? Are you having trouble breathing? Do you have a history of diabetes? The answer is A. What seems to be the matter? 46. A patient with profuse sweating is referred to as being flushed, plethoric, diaphoretic, edematous. The answer is C. Diaphoretic. 47. When taking a patient's blood pressure in an upper extremity, the diaphragm of the stethoscope is normally placed over which artery? Brachial. Femoral. Popliteal. Radial. The answer is A. Brachial. 48. Which of the following is the most accurate guide to palpating a pulse? Avoid compressing the artery against a bone or solid structure. Place the tips of your index and long fingers over the pulse point. Use your thumb to increase the surface area that you are palpating. Apply firm pressure to the artery with your ring and little fingers. The answer is B. Place the tips of your index and long fingers over the pulse point. 49. When assessing the skin of an unconscious patient, you note that it has a bluish tint to it. This binding is called pallor, flushing, cyanosis, mottling. The answer is C, cyanosis. 50. When you assess capillary refill time, CRT, in an infant, normal color to the tested area should return within 1 second, 2 seconds, 3 seconds, 4 seconds. The answer is B, 2 seconds. 51. As you and your partner are carrying a stable patient down a flight of stairs in a stair chair, you feel a sudden, sharp pain in your lower back. You should reposition your hands and continue to move the patient. Stop the move and request additional lifting assistance. Guide your partner while moving the chair backwards. Stop the move and have the patient walk down the stairs. The answer is B, stop the move and request additional lifting assistance. 52. The most appropriate carrying device to use when moving a patient across rough or uneven terrain is the stair chair, wheeled stretcher, scoop stretcher, basket stretcher. The answer is D, basket stretcher. 53. When the shoulder girdle is aligned over the pelvis during lifting. The weight is exerted straight down the vertebrae. The hands can be held further apart from the body. The muscles of the back experience increased strain. 
the risk of back injuries is significantly increased. The answer is A. The weight is exerted straight down the vertebrae. 54. The extremity lift would not be appropriate to use on a patient. Without a spinal injury. With a deformed humerus. Who complains of nausea? With forearm lacerations. The answer is B. With a deformed humerus. 55. Which of the following conditions or situations presents the most unique challenge to the EMTB when immobilizing an elderly patient on a long backboard? Joint flexibility. Patient disorientation. Naturally deformed bones. Abnormal spinal curvature. The answer is D. Abnormal spinal curvature. 56. Safe lifting of a patient on a cot involves all of the following, except Using the power lift if possible. Bending or flexing at the waist. Keeping your hands about 10 inch apart. Grasping the cot with your palms up. The answer is B, bending or flexing at the waist. 57. To avoid injury when pushing a patient or other object, you should push the patient from an overhead position if possible. Avoid pushing the patient with your elbows fully extended. Push from the area of your body between the knees and hips. Kneel if you are pushing an object that is above waist level. The answer is B. Avoid pushing the patient with your elbows fully extended. 58. The direct carry is used to transfer a patient. With multiple long bone injuries. With a possible cervical spine injury. From a bed to the ambulance stretcher. Who cannot be placed on a backboard. The answer is C, from a bed to the ambulance stretcher. 59. A 72-year-old woman lying in her bed complains of crushing chest pain and shortness of breath. She states she has had two previous heart attacks. Her blood pressure is 146-102 mmHg, pulses 108 beats-min, and respirations are 28 breaths-min. Which of the following is the most appropriate method of transferring this patient to the ambulance? A. Place her on a scoop stretcher and carry her to the ambulance with a minimum of 4 EMTBS. B. Assist her in sitting up on the side of the bed and then use a two-person assist to walk her to the ambulance. C. Immobilize her to a long backboard in a supine position and then transfer the backboard to the wheeled stretcher. D. Use the draw sheet method to transfer her from the bed to the wheeled stretcher and then to the ambulance. The answer is D. Use the draw sheet method to transfer her from the bed to the wheeled stretcher and then to the ambulance. 60. When a person is standing upright, the weight of anything being lifted and carried in the hands is first reflected onto the A. Pelvic girdle B. Spinal column C. Thigh muscles D. Shoulder girdle The answer is D. Shoulder girdle.